A family of mice have built their home under the roof of the attic. To arrange their new house, they took some of your everyday items. A can of sardines makes for a beautiful bathtub. And this spool? Why, it's the perfect pedestal table. Taking advantage of their absence, you decide to peek into their house. What does it look like? And above all, where are the buttons, the pawns, the keys, and all of the other objects they stole? Hey, Meeple people, how's it going? And on today's vlog, we are going to be playing peek a mouse by Gigamic Games. And this is a game that's for five ages five to nine, two to six players, and takes about 20 minutes to play. So, Sarah, can you please do us the honors of doing an overview for this game? Certainly. So in Peek a Mouse, we are working together to um, come up with some information about what we can see in this little mouse house. So I will show you what the mouse house looks like. So it's this really neat little three-dimensional um, house. And when we put the lid back on the box the right way, we create a three-dimensional mouse house with these windows where players can look through uh, and see what is going on in the house. But you'll notice it's quite dark in there. So we are also going to add this little flashlight. The flashlight will come on and go off automatically after 30 seconds. So players have 30 seconds to look into the house with the flashlight on it and see if they can see certain things that we're going to add um, to the house. And after the flashlight has gone off, we will have to work together to try to answer some questions about what we could see and where it was and that kind of thing. So the way that we set up this game is we select one of these player boards. There are four, um, one each for uh, four different difficulty levels. So there's easy, intermediate, hard, and very hard. We're going to go ahead and play with the intermediate level. Um, so that's the board for this one right here. We're also going to play with four of these tokens, which indicate which rooms um, things may or may not be in. And then we are going to play with tokens uh, that match these tokens as well. Um, and so what it's, what's gonna happen is we are going to turn these all face down and we are going to randomly select tokens to place um, in each of these spots on the board. So we need a room here and we need a room here. Then we need items here, here, and two items over here. All right, and this is the setup for um, each round. Uh, each subsequent round will reshuffle all these and put these back out. Uh, we play four rounds. At the end of four rounds, if we've achieved at least 12 points, then we win the game. Phew. So what's going to happen next is we are going to take these matching tokens and we are going to add them to the hole in the roof of the house, like so. And then we are going to gently... Shake the house. Shake it, shake it. Would you like to shake the house a little I, I bit, Nick? I would like to shake the house. <laughs> a little crazy. Okay, so now we are ready for the first round of the game. What's going to happen is we're going to click this light on. It's going to stay on automatically for 30 seconds, and we are going to look through these windows here and try to see what we can see. At the end of the round, when the flashlight has gone off, we are going to reveal all these tokens and we're going to answer some questions about what we saw in the house. This one right here is going to be about simply which side of the token we, we saw. So if, for example, one of us saw the button token, we would have to answer, is it on the green side or the pink side, if that's what this token is. Um, this one right here is going to be a specific item in a specific room. Is this item in this room? This one right here is going to be a little bit more complicated. We're going to have to think of a particular room that we saw in the house and try to, to remember all of the items that were in that room. And finally, this one right here, we're going to have to tell uh, the game whether or not those two particular items were in the same room or not. So we have 30 seconds to look through the windows in the house. Um, and then when the light clicks off, we'll answer all of these questions. Um, we can work together. We can discuss what we see as we're looking in the house and as we're trying to answer the questions. For every question that we get right, we'll get a point. Uh, and we will reset at the end of the round. And we'll do that four times at the end of four rounds. If we have at least 12 points, we've won the game. Should we try it, Nick? Yes. And also, we can't move on to the next difficulty level unless we get 16, right? 
Uh, yeah, so the like the ultimate, you've done great. You've won, 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 won the game is 16 points. Um, and you can move on to the next difficulty level really at any time. But the game rules do say uh, that you can move on um, sort of in ascending order only once you have completely, perfectly achieved a uh, score on a previous level. So we're going to jump straight into um, the intermediate level. So we are skipping the beginner level for this but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I feel like we're, we're, we can, we got the, the, the know-how to do it. Hopefully. All right, so whenever Nick is ready, we are going to click on the flashlight and look through the windows and discuss what we see for oh. 30 seconds. That's the only time, okay. that's the, the, all the time we get for this round. All right, my head is ready. Okay, and yeah, we may stick our heads in the shot a little bit if we do. Our apologies. This is this is the game right we, here. We have to see what's going on in the little duck mouse and weave, house. Duck and weave. All right, are you ready, Nick? Yeah. Here we go. Okay, I see the pink candy. I see. In the kitchen. I see Legos in the bedroom. Oh, there's also the game token. A in button the kitchen. and a coin in. Button, coin, and stamp, and ring, and key. Okay, button, coin. Stamp. Ring and key. Ring key. And I see that. Oh my gosh. I can't really see very much oh else. Gosh. I only see the candy and the token. I'm just trying to get the faces and oh, oh okay. That is all the time we have, so we have to stop looking now. Now we are going to set this aside carefully so we don't move any tokens. Uh now we are going to answer these questions. So was the coins on this side or this side? I didn't see the coin, Nick. Did you? Yes, the coin was on this side. Okay, so Nick says the coin was on this side. Indeed. Uh, was the ring in the bedroom? I could see the bathroom bedroom. and the the uh, kitchen. No, it was not. Okay, so it Nick was says in the uh, no living room. Okay. I um, couldn't see the living room, so I don't know. Okay. Oh, gosh. All right. And now you had said there was a bunch of stuff in the living room. Which stuff was there? There was the ring. There was a stamp. There was the key. There was the money. It was not the tokens or the candy, because I and could see those the Legos, in my room. And it wasn't... Could you see the button? I could not see the button. I think I think you said it was in there. Okay. When you were like listing off yeah, all the yeah. stuff, I think you said the button was in there. Okay. All right. And then finally, were the stamps and the token in the same room? They, they were, were not. not. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to reveal the house and see how many questions we answered correctly. So starting over here, we talked about the coins, which side the coin was on. Uh, Nick was correct about that. So we get one point for that. Uh, is the ring in the bedroom? No, the ring is not in the bedroom, so we get another point for that because that's what we said. Um, the living room contained the key, coin, button, stamps, and ring. So yes. we did that one correctly as well. Ooh. Nice. Uh, so that's a point there. Uh, and finally, are the stamps and the tokens in the same room? They're not. Here's the stamp, and the token is over there. So we got all four points for this round. We answered all nice. four of the questions correctly. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to take all of these back out. We are going to remove all the tokens from this board here. We're going to shuffle up the room tokens again, as well as the item tokens. And then we are going to randomly distribute these again. The hill room had to be the one with all the stuff. What was all the stuff in there? <laughs> oh, jeez. My okay. memory is starting to fade. I We're going to move our little mouse to round two. We're going to put the lid back on our house. Like yeah, there goes. so. There's a vine and a... Uh, a ladder that kind of will help you line it up. Back in. You want to give that a shake for us, Nick? Sure, I'll give it a shake. Okay. 
All right. Are you ready? Yep. I am. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You said okay, you were ready. Go, go, Are go, you go. ready? Yeah. Okay. I see a stamp. I see the coin. The ring. In the bedroom. And the key. The button and the token are all in the bathroom. I don't think I... The see. candy and the Lego are in the kitchen. Um, there's nothing in the bedroom or the, the, the living room. So it's just the coin and the stamp in the... I only see the coin and the stamp. Ring key, button, token in the kit ba bathroom. Stamp. Oh. Okay. Oh, this one's going to be hard. Yeah. Ring key, button... You had a lot on your side. Yeah, I know. And my memory is not good. Okay. Quick. So let's talk about the stamp. It was on the red. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember. Okay. All right. Let's talk about was the candy in the bathroom. It was not. I think it was in the kitchen. Okay. Was, oh, uh, shoot. Okay. Well, let's do this. The there was no button was in there. The token was in there. The candy was in there. The ring was in there. And I think the Legos were in there. Okay. I don't think the key or the money was in there. Okay. Were the Legos in the same room as the money? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure the Legos... I think the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the no. Legos were in this room, and I don't think it was that room. All right, let's see how we did this time. Yeah, good. Yes. Okay, so um, the stamps were on the red, the side. red side, so, so we get a point, point for, for that. that. You got them? I got them. Okay, the candy was not in the bathroom. It was in the dining room, so we get a point for that. Okay. The dining room contained... Oh, shoot. I mixed them up. All right. We got that one wrong. So we don't get the point uh, for that one. Sorry. It's okay. I mixed these two rooms up. Um, okay. And then finally, the Legos were in here. And the, the money was in there. The money was in here. So we got that one right as well. Yep. So we're not going to achieve a perfect game. Oh. All right. We'll pick all these up. We will put the lid back on. It always, it always gets like, you're always the one that gets screwed when it's uh, all of the manage to come on your side. It's like, no, why? Would you like to give that a shake? I would like to give it a shake. It's fun giving it a shake. <laughs> I'm one of those kids. If I was a kid playing this game, I'd definitely be like, ah. All right, you ready for round three, Nick? I am ready for round three. Oof. Let's do this thing. Oof. Okay. okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Sarah. I don't think there's anything in here. There's oh, no candy. tokens in that room. There's candy. All right, the Legos, the ring, the key. Candy. And the stamps are all uh, in this room. Coin, button, and pawn. All right, the ring, the Legos, the coin, key, button, and, pawn. and the stamp. Okay, coin button and pawn. And it's the green stamp. And then there's um. Legos key. Okay. Stamp. Coin button and pawn. Oh, oh. That's it. All right. So let's see. The key was on this side. Okay. The candy was in the bedroom. The candy, which is the bedroom. I didn't see. The candy. And I'm pretty sure that I was looking at the bedroom. Okay, then no. Because the you, candy Are you sure here. that you were not looking at the bedroom? I'm trying not to see. I know, me too. I'm pretty sure that I no, was you, looking I can, at the I bedroom. I can see it from here. I can see the purple from we're here. We're not so. supposed to look. <laughs> well, I, I'm not trying to look at the... All right, so the candy was not in the bedroom. Okay. The What was in the dining room? The dining room was over here, I think. Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> There so was, I'll tell you what there's, what's not there. Okay. The candy was not there. The coin was not there. The key was... The button. Uh, the stamp was in there, I'm pretty sure. No. The stamp is in this room. 
Ooh, Nikki. Let's come back to that. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Was the coin and the ring in the same room? Yes, they were. Okay. Um. Okay. Was I so saying something coin... about coin button king? Are sure the ring was in there? Uh, no. <sighs> so you're sure about that? <laughs> no. Oh. I don't think they were in the same room. I think the coin was in this room. I think it was coin, button, key, candy. You're saying you think you can see the coin, the button, and the key? Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Oh, never mind. Yeah, because I... Yeah, no. Coin. I thought that button. I could see a bunch of that stuff in this I think this it was room. coin, button, stamp. In my room, right? In, in my this, room. In oh. this room. Let's see. I thought I could see the stamp. Oh, I don't know. And I know I could see the key. Okay. I know I could so see the key. So we got that one. Uh, that was not. So we were done with these two. Right. We're just this trying to one, figure out these two. So you think you saw it? I thought that this room right here yeah. had... Oh, it had four items in it, and I thought it was the stamp, the ring, the key, and the coin. So then we'll just leave it at that. I'm more sure about that. Yeah, we'll just okay. go. And then who had the, the dining room? You had the dining room. I'm pretty sure that was this room. So this is the one with all the stuff in it. So I'm pretty sure that the stamp was in there. Okay. I'm pretty sure that the key was in there. I'm pretty sure that the ring was in there. Pretty sure that the token wasn't in there. You're all going to be wrong. And I think the Lego was in there. One of those this, is wrong. This has to I be don't wrong. Because I, I think the coin, the coin wasn't here. Let's just go with that. Let's just go. Uh, I'm not sure that this is entirely right. I think okay. there was only three items in the room. It might not be the Lego. You just want to go for it? Yeah, let's just do let's it. Let's do it. All right. Oh, oh see, dude. We're lucky. We said no on that one. All right. Well, so the key is on the side that we said it's on, so we get a point for that. Yeah. The candy... Is not it's in the not bedroom, in the bedroom, so we get a point for that. Okay. The coin and the ring are in two different rooms, so we get a point for that. Good job, Nick. You're the one who said we should do that. But we uh. And we totally failed in the dining room. Oh, oh well. Sorry. Okay, so we have one more chance, and we only need two points. Yeah. So it looks like we're we're in the steer we're in clear in the clear, but. I don't know. It could always, that could change. We just got to answer two questions, two questions directly right. next time. Okay. Under pressure. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Oh, oh my hand. <laughs> Sorry. You need to give that a jiggle. I would like to give it a jiggle. All right. I feel like I've done my duty. Okay. It's the final one, sir. No pressure. Ba -na -na -na. Okay, are okay. you ready to stick your head in the box? I suppose. I guess you're not always in the box. All right. <clears throat> ready? Go. Okay. Ooh. Uh, I have candy. There is nothing coin. in the bedroom. Oh, no. Candy coin pawn. I've got candy. the ring, coin, the stamp, and candy the Lego coin, pawn, key. in the living room. Key button. The button and the key. Coin Pawn, candy. Red stamp, Legos. Ring, candy. Red stamp, Legos. Coin. Oh, son of a biscuit eating bulldog. Okay. Red stamp, coin. Legos. I'm not even entirely sure First that's one, right. Pawn was this. Okay. Was the candy in the bathroom? 
No, because it was in here. Okay. And that's not the bathroom. Got it. Yeah. Okay. What was in... Oh, that was my room. Okay, it was the Legos and the stamp. So it wasn't... There's no candy. It was definitely the Legos and the stamp. No pawn. It's definitely the Legos and the stamp. Okay, all right. Sorry, sorry, <gasps> sorry. That's it? Then there was... No, there was one more item. It was the ring. Okay. And then the ring and the Legos were in the same room. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Did we win? Ta-da. All right. So the pawn was on the yellow side, so we get a point for that. Cool. The candy was in the bathroom, so we lose a point for that. Okay. Well, we don't lose a point. We just don't get one. Um, the, the living room had room oh. the Legos, the stamp, and the ring, which is what I said, and the ring and the Legos were in the same room, so we get... Two points for that. And that means we win the game. We win the game by uh, uh, a point over? Two point? No, a point over. You have to get at least 12 points to win. We so we got 13. Ooh, close. <laughs> We're not ready for the next level yet. <laughs> next level, like, it seems pretty intense. So the, the way that they increase the difficulty is by changing up the player mats. So this one, um, this is the, the easiest difficulty. Uh, and you also use fewer tokens. You don't use the posted stamps or the coins in the easy. Yeah. Um, and then for the more difficult ones, you include... So this is more difficult side of the side we just played. You include additional tokens when you play with uh, the harder levels. Um, so we didn't play with and the level we just did. No strawberries or die. Or uh, there's stuff on the other side, too. Oh, a bitten strawberry and... A different side of the die. Oh, that would be challenging. So it's a six three and one. six or a one, two, and three. Hmm. Huh. All right. Well, let's go ahead and move into our discussion on <laughs> on Pika Mouse by Giga McG. All right. We'll see you guys in a second. Toodles. Hey, Meeple people. How's it going? Welcome back. And we are now doing our discussion of... Giga Moose by Gigamic Games. Or Gigamic. Probably just Gigamic. I think it's Gigamic. Gigamic. Just Gigamic. But, um, so Sarah, what did you think of uh, Pika Mouse? Well, I think it's really cute. Um, I don't have a great memory, so memory games are never um, ones that I feel like I excel at or, um, or that kind of thing. But I think because it's cooperative, it didn't feel like it was solely on me um, whether or not I did well. Um, because even if I didn't do well, we might still do well. Yeah. So the memory element didn't feel um, too crushing to me. Plus, it is, you know, it is a, a children's game. So theoretically, it's a little bit lower level. Um, but I liked that we were working together to remember things. Yeah. Um, I liked that it was, you know, open discussion and we could talk about things without, um, you know, without any kind of hamper on our communication. Um, especially because that helps me to, to kind of keep track of what I can remember. If I can talk about it while I'm attempting to remember it, then that's helpful to me. So I liked that there was, you know, open communication and um, and that kind of thing. I think it's really, really cute as far as yeah, like um, how it's how it's like built and how they've got this like three dimensional house. And um, I think it's a cute little theme where, you know, it's this little mouse house and you can see all these different. They're little... coming borrowing stuff and yeah. you got to go find, well, what they take? Yeah. So I think it's really cute. I think um, it's a great game for younger kids to Definitely. play with, you know, siblings or even their parents and that kind of thing. I think it was interesting enough um, that even if I was playing this with children, obviously I wouldn't want to play this every single day, um, but you could play again and again and again and keep it fresh um yeah. i think after you set this up because once you get it undo it and then build it for the first time then after that it's really easy setup it's super easy setup very quick to set up very quick to get a game in um even very quick to pick up so i think you could probably once you know what you're doing and once everything has been set up like nick said for the first time then you could probably set this up play a game and take it down all in less than 30 minutes yeah definitely um and i think that it will age well um as a game because the replayability is there in just 
the the mechanics themselves like having um having the two sided um tokens means that like sometimes it's the green button but yeah. sometimes it's the pink button um so there's there's a lot of replayability just in that but then there's also the repl- replayability of having the increasing difficulty levels yeah i thought that was really uh well implemented where you have to first complete it fully and then after you get it completed fully then you can go ahead so it's like for younger players especially ages five to nine, they'll be like, well, let's play it again. And, you know, and then if even if they don't make it, it's like, well, can we do one more? And so get kids interested or other players interested and be like, well, let's let's get it again and uh, try to get that max, that high score. And then so we can move on to a higher difficulty. I felt like everything was really durable. So um, even though this is a kid's game and even though there are going to be players who may not always necessarily respect the physicality of the game, um, I felt like the components are going to hold up to children's play fairly well. Um, the components that that kids are going to be playing with or players are going to be playing with are like the thick wooden discs yeah. and um, and things like that. The things that were a little bit lesser quality, like the the play mat and stuff like that, that's not things that kids are really going to be like it's playing thing, with a yeah. whole bunch. Yeah. Um, they're going to be, you know, fiddling with like the wooden tokens and they're going to be like shaking the house and stuff like that. And I felt like those components were um, were strong enough and made of the right kind of materials to where they're going to hold up over time, um, even with younger people playing this and using it. Um, overall, I think it's probably a great kids game, especially if you're trying to incorporate like memory elements into gamification of like education or, um, you know, tra- training for children. Um, I think that it's, it looks fantastic. It's well produced. Um, and I, I actually had quite a bit of fun with yeah. it, even though it's like, it's a kid's game. I actually had, I think, know, I think I had a little bit of like, oh, we got this is a kid's game and that, and you know, we'll do it and it should be kind of fun. But then after like the first or, or practice game, it was like, wow, this is kind of fun because, you know, even if you have you buy, buy this for your kids and then you have your game night with your adult friends. You know, just say, you know, hey, you guys want to play a little silly game for a bit? And some people might. Like, it would be ah. like a great palate cleanser. Yeah, um, it could. Yeah, definitely. Because I think it's it's only four rounds. The four rounds are only 30 seconds long. Yeah, it's super quick to teach, super yeah. quick to set up and take down. So you could get in, like we said, you could get in a game in like 30 minutes or less. And yeah. if, uh, you know, I, I personally feel like sometimes in the, the hobby of gaming, we've we've come up with tons of games that are um, thoughtful, that are, you know, um, that make you, you know, really concentrate very hard on a strategy or, you know, you're, you're, you know, doing all of these serious things in gameplay. Um, and I think a lot of times that we sometimes just kind of gloss over like the fun factor of games. Yeah. You know, sometimes we play like a big heavy game and it is really strategic or it's very, um, you know, puzzly or, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. And and that can be fun in its own right. But I think sometimes with games, we're, we're just, you know, when you just sit down and play a game like this, it's just like, you know, it's fun and silly. And um, I think I think it's always good to occasionally bring back games like this I mean, one. You do something silly and, yeah. you know, you're, you know, the, the funness of a game like this that brings it to brings to the table. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So awesome. I definitely recommend, especially if you have children um, or if you think that you might enjoy this sort of thing. It's like a palate cleanser yeah. or a light game. Um, I don't know if I'd buy it if I didn't have kids though. Uh, Probably not. Um, but if you have but, kids, you can play with them or yeah. you could, you know, use it for, for other things. Too, yeah. Cause so. definitely if you have kids and you get this, then yeah, you can play with your kids and then also play with your, uh, your group. Um, a couple times. I would say the only time I would buy this if you don't have kids is if you really, really, really enjoy short, quick, light co-op play. Yeah. And or um, sort of like you know games that exercise your memory. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I would I would probably only get it if you actually have kids who would maybe enjoy this. Cool. But otherwise, I think it's pretty great. Awesome. Well, I I think most of the same things that Sarah said is just you know. Great for kids. I love the artwork. 
uh, the sleeve is a bit, a bit of a barrier. There's a sleeve on it that you're like, yeah. So Get there's a bo- off. Th- this right here is a box sleeve, and the reason that they've packaged it like that is because you actually use the game box to play the game. And there's a hole the on the uh, yeah. outer, one of the outer boxes. Yeah. So. so and what they've done to cut down on on having to have like a bigger external box or more packaging or that kind of thing is they've just packaged everything into the game box that you play with yeah and then over that they've put this sleeve so it is a little bit of a bear to get the sleeve on and off of definitely be the be let the parents you know parents out there be the one to take this because you're going to hear a nice tear (laughs) if kids are the ones to kind of leave it i don't think it's i think you could probably i don't think you have to use the sleeve if you don't want to even with the hole in there i think if I remember correctly, the way that things like stack inside the box, even with the hole, nothing's going to like you have fall the game, out or anything you have like the rules, that. Yeah. But the sleeve is going to protect the play anything. space that you yeah. actually use in the game yeah. from being um, from extra wear and tear that would occur if you didn't use the sleeve to store it. Definitely. But it is a really tight fitting sleeve. So, yeah, definitely get the adults in the room to um, put Pop that on out. and yeah. take mm-hmm. it off. Set it up. So. Well, other than that, that's uh, it's kind of what our thoughts on uh, Pika Mouse by Gigamic. And we're going to have some other games in the future from them on the channel. Uh, but yeah, well, we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hope you enjoyed this discussion of Pika Mouse by Gigamic. And yeah, we'll see you all next time. Toodles!